Hi, Hiram here. Well, I should have known. Uh, after I did that video yesterday about the Sterno gel fuel with the Vargo pot, I said I also had an aluminum, or cup rather, I should say. This is the small one. <clears throat> I had said that I have an aluminum cup. I don't like using it because I don't really care for things that have the handle sticking out all the time. But I got several emails from people asking if I would test this on the uh, the Sterno setup. Also, I got some other comments from like from Drunken Shooter. He said, Hiram, as I watched, I was also thinking the pot stand looked a bit tall, and I think it would be interesting to see what it would do with anything shorter. This is the one that I used yesterday. It was made out of hardware cloth, the quarter inch square stuff. It's four squares high. The cloth itself was actually six squares, but I turned over the two rows to make it, to reinforce it, make it a little bit stronger. So what I did last night was I made one that was five squares, folded over the two, and so it makes it three high. So that makes it about a quarter inch shorter than the old one. But what I'm going to do today is test it with the original one so that I can compare this time to the boil time with the Vargo, the titanium. And then after everything cools off and stuff, I'll try it again with this. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to say this, so I'm going to spell it. T-H-3-R-0-N-R said, good stuff. He likes camping with Sterno or gel fuel he says if anybody doesn't know you can buy it in a 12 pack at a restaurant supply store to the point where it's not really cheaper to refill it with liquid alcohol I'll have to check into that and see what the prices are like for that maybe get a pack see if it's uh, the uh, methyl alcohol or the ethyl alcohol on this this small can this is the 2.6 ounce this cost about $1.75 for each can. It was three cans for almost six, I think. But the refill of the methanol that I put in there was pennies. So it's got to be cheaper to refill it. Let's see, moving on. <clears throat> how did it boil, Desinart asked, how did it boil water if it only gets to 185 degrees? Well, Vantage SG sent a comment, and he says that he thinks the temperature Sterno quoted refers to the water temp in one of their Bain-Marie setups. For those of you that don't know what a Bain-Marie is, that's a variation on a chafing dish. If you ever go to a like a wedding or something, and you see these pans of food out on uh, <clears throat> Sterno burners, they're actually heating up water, which then keeps the food hot. That's a chafing dish. And a Bain Marie is a variation of that. I think he's right. I think that is what they're doing. They're quoting what the water temperature would be. Usually there's a, a quite a space between the sterno and the bottom of the water basin, the water uh, holder. So I guess that's why this gets hotter, because we're actually holding it closer. Uh, Desinar also asks, what's the point of adding methanol back to it? If you want to burn methanol, just burn methanol and avoid the trouble with Sterno completely. I've been talking with a couple of other people. One of the reasons why they like using Sterno, they said, is because they don't have to worry about sloshing the alcohol and getting it messed up with stuff. Sterno, you know, you can hold it upside down. I mean, it moves around slowly, but you don't have to worry about it dumping out. And with refilling it, not refilling it, but I add methanol back to it to get back to the original weight of the can, and it's still fairly solid. So I think that's why people do it, because they like that it's all contained. They don't have to worry about spillage and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, a couple more here. <clears throat> Bush WP11 said, how long does it take 
for gel fuel to raise the temp of one cup of water, good water, to simply have a nice warm cup of cocoa. That would depend on what temperature you like for drinking your coffee or cocoa or whatever. In my case, I don't care for it being really hot. My wife, on the other hand, if I drank the tea or coffee that she drank, it would probably raise blisters on my mouth. She likes it boiling. What I'll do is, in this test, I'll take note of how, far, how fast it raises the temperatures and make a little list of them. And then you could pick out whatever temperature you wanted. The one reason why you would boil this stuff, boil water with this, is if you're getting water out of a stream or something, and you want to make sure it's safe. That water, even if you're making cocoa or coffee with it, still has to be brought to a boil. If you're using water from home that you know is safe, then yeah, just heat the water up to the point as warm as what you want it, which would be a whole lot less time. Uh, one last one here, Josh, 1578. He said, Hiram, maybe you could show us how one could avoid burning one's lips on the hot metal. That goes back to the previous question about what temperature to get up to. Now I've seen people wrap those uh, silicone wristbands around their cups. So it gives you a little bit of a, a lip here that's rubber and not necessarily something that will burn you. I use these. I showed you this before. This is a, a lid from a coffee cup. You can find these at Goodwill and stuff like that. And just find one that fits on your can or your cup. So this keeps the water from getting, you know, bugs and ashes and dirt and everything kicked into it. And it will also kind of keep it in the pot, in the cup. So that's maybe two ideas that you could use. This has a bit of a lip on it, so your, touch, your mouth is touching this rather than the side. So let me start this up here, <clears throat> get going with this. Now this, I re this is the same canister as from yesterday. I refilled it again. So this has been used once, refilled once, and then I'll just try to keep track here of how long this stuff can actually keep being refilled. I'm going to use the, the uh, pot stand from yesterday the big one, the tall one I should say. Start that. Okay, I have one cup of water here setting at 60 degrees. And let's see what this takes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 at 1405. Interesting. Let me put this out. Huh, that was surprising. That brought one cup of water starting at 60 degrees to a full boil at 212 in 14 minutes and 5 seconds. Yesterday when I did it with this, it brought the one cup of water starting at 62 degrees, which is two degrees higher, but still. Brought that to a boil in 11 minutes and 29 seconds. So this is like going on three minutes more with this cup. Now, you know, the first reason comes to mind because this is a dull finish and this is shiny. 
that could be it. I mean, usually aluminum heats up a whole lot faster. But maybe because this has a darker finish on it, I don't know. So, I'm going to let all this stuff cool off. I'm going to refill, or not refill, but add methanol to this. And as I was standing here, uh, writing down the times of the increments, I was thinking this has actually been had methanol added to it twice. So this, if when I add it now, that'll be the third time. The flame still looked the same, so I don't think it was the flame was smaller or anything. The only thing I can attribute it to is the shiny surface of the cup. Now adding paint to it, I showed before that I don't think that really works because adding paint insulates the surface. But if the metal is a darker metal, I think that affects it. So let me let all this stuff cool off and I'll be back to try it with the shorter pot stand. Be right back. There we have 210. 211. Come on. 212 and 1631. Okay, now I'm officially confused. This was a test using a refilled can with the shorter pot stand. This is only three quarter of an inch tall versus the one inch tall before. On this one, it took 14 minutes and 5 seconds for one cup of water to come to a boil from 60 degrees. This time, with the 3 quarter inch, it took 16 minutes and 31 seconds. So now I'm confused. So what I'm going to do here real quick is I have another can of unaltered new can of uh, Sterno. It was only burned for a couple of seconds. I'm going to run this test again, let everything cool off and run it again. So I'll be right back. There we have 210, 211, Oops, went back, 210, 211, To 12 at 18.28. Okay, I guess going shorter wasn't the way to go. Let me just put this out. Huh. Yeah, I guess shorter is not better necessarily. In this test, one cup of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to 212 in 18 minutes and 28 seconds. This is with plain unadulterated sterno. Hasn't been modified or anything. It was only burned for a couple of minutes here previously. Uh, the time test before this was the altered sterno. The stuff that I put methanol in. And I got a boil time on that with one cup at 16 minutes and 31 seconds. 
so it took the sterno about two minutes more. The previous test with the one inch high stand versus the three quarter inch, I don't know if you can see that there, this is shorter, this is the one inch. The one inch brought one cup of water to boil starting at 60 degrees in 14 minutes and 5 seconds. So maybe taller is the way to go. Maybe I should make one of these with another one more row on it. Make it a quarter inch taller yet. Make That would be one and a quarter inches. Let me know what you think about that. If I should do it or not. If it's even worthwhile with this. So I thank you for watching putting up with this. I'm always surprised that people do. But I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.